Good day, boys and girls, and welcome to your second online English lesson. Today, I will be teaching you about writing a friendly letter. Now, you must be wondering why you need to learn about writing a letter when you can just text or call a person. However, letter writing allows the writer to have time to think about the content they are writing as opposed to texting or talking on the phone. When writing a letter, you are able to sit down and process your thoughts before putting pen to paper. There are two types of letters, an informal letter and a formal letter. An informal letter allows you the opportunity to invite, congratulate, or offer condolences. The tone is conversational, friendly, and sincere. A formal letter is used for an official purpose and only relevant details are included. The tone is formal, businesslike, and polite. You are also reminded that this is a writing activity and therefore the writing process must be applied. The five steps included in the writing process are pre-writing, writing, revising, editing and publishing. Refer to page 4 of your term 2 booklet. You will find the writing skills checklist to be handy as well. The most important element of writing a friendly letter is to get the format correct. A quick tip, you almost guaranteed marks if you do. You will start off by writing your address on the right hand side of the page. Your address should be written in full, which means you will have your house number and road on the first line, followed by your area, your city and postal code. On the next line, you will enter the date in full. If you are writing to someone who lives in another country, you will enter South Africa after your postal code. Remember, no commas or full stops are included. The date is written in full. Avoid using abbreviations. And do not forget the postal code. Your greeting will be written after your date on the left side of the page. Remember, no comma appears after the name of the person. And other forms of greetings that may be used are Dearest Susie or My Dear Susie. After your greeting, you will leave a line and your introduction will begin. This paragraph sets the tone for the whole letter. You can begin by asking the receiver of the letter about their well-being. Allow the opening of your letter to be casual and comforting. Some expressions that can be used. Thanks for writing to me. It was great to hear from you again. Or, I am writing to tell you about. Next follows the body of your letter. Leave a line after your introduction. The body of your letter will include personal information. You might choose to share a personal experience and update your friend on what has been happening in your life. Remember, there must be a flow of ideas. Punctuation is still important. And leave a line after each paragraph.
Once you have completed writing the most important ideas and details, you can now conclude your letter. Leave a line after your last paragraph. The conclusion of your letter should be based on a meaningful and affectionate goodbye. Encourage the reader to write back as it shows the intention to keep the conversation going. Some expressions you can add to your conclusion. Looking forward to hearing from you or hope to hear from you soon. Leave a line and then sign off with one of the following phrases. Your friend, sincerely, yours affectionately, or best regards. On the very next line, enter your name and surname. I have included an example of what your letter should look like at the end. You may also refer to page 10 of your Term 3 booklet. Before we conclude, I would like to leave you with some useful tips. Format is everything. Make your introduction as interesting as possible. Be specific and descriptive. Use figurative language. Do not repeat yourself. Link your paragraphs and do not drift away from the topic. Lastly, you may use contractions, but punctuation and grammar errors must be corrected. I hope you enjoyed my lesson on writing a letter and I look forward to your feedback when I see you again.